What's up, guys? This is uh, KR or Ploxy, whatever you want to call me by. Um, I did a 3D text in the background. And I got like a couple messages asking how I did it, and it's easy to do it in Photoshop. So we're using CS4. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it in the background, just in case we're using it for a background. So let me pull up my template here. All right. Now, in order to do one, I just try to keep this organized. So I make a folder, and then just hold Shift. I'll put a link in for the template in the description. I just hold shift and you know go from top one to bottom and I just drag it in. Or you can just drag all of them in. And then so in order to do 3D text, what we're gonna do here is so I'm just gonna do it right here just to show. So put text here. I'm gonna type in I'm just gonna type in it's in black. It's not gonna help at all. I'm gonna go for silver. White silver. Alright, now let me just try to get this. There we go. Make it a bit smaller. On the outside box. Alright, now I'm just doing Control T. And then hold Shift. I'm just going to stretch it out. That's good. Alright, now we have to go from here. Because we have to really click and select Pixels. And then go to Layer, Rasterize, Type. So it makes it one layer and then control D and then we're gonna go to edit next one here we go I don't that's down there we don't need that go to edit transform and we put spec perspective and you can mess around with this but the way I do is I just go here and then pull it out just get like a 3D look I pull that in just a bit more press enter and then move it alright now here's how to make it look 3D you gotta make sure you're on this layer. You can hold down Alt, and you have to have the selection tool. Hold Alt, and then see how the text is going that way, like how the 3D should go that way. So then you just gotta hold Alt, and you go left, 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 and do it until it looks good. And I won't go too much, uh, so it's gonna start looking ugly. So in order to make these one layer, I just hold. Click the top one, hold shift, and don't do this one, do the copy, and right click and merge layers, and then put the original on top. And now, in order to make this look more 3D instead of like, it doesn't look like anything right now, so I got the blending options, and we're gonna go bevel and boss, and then contour that makes it look a little bit smoother side of that, and then we're gonna go down to gloss contour, and we're gonna go to this one that goes did up and down the hills or whatever you want to call them. And then you can mess around with like you can mess around with these like size. You can mess around. I'm gonna go with this right there. And soften. You can mess around with. Yeah, keep it down low. All right. Now go OK. Now go to the copy layers, and then go to bevel. And I'm gonna add contour to it again. Same thing applies. And then you can pretty much you can mess with it. I usually like doing something like that, and then soften out a bit. And then you can add. I know it's still could look so great, but now you can't even notice it. But gradient overlay. You can do a gradient overlay, and then do it again here if you want. You don't have to. I mean, see, I don't really. I mean, it looks cool. So then, if you want to put it like down here for the layout, so you would just hold Control T. And then you're just gonna spin it. Oops. Yeah, I kind of forgot about this. My fault. Control Z. Um, well, after you're done with that, you just wanna click on the top layer, hold Shift, and then click Copy, and you wanna merge the two. There. Right, now it's one. So, oops. Now, see, now it's one layer. So now you wanna do Control T, hold Shift, and you wanna hold Shift now. You know, like, now spin it. And once you get like where it should be, hold shift, make it straight, hit enter. And then you can really mess around with it any way you want to. Like you can do different angles. I mean, right here it doesn't look so great, but I wouldn't really advise it doing backgrounds. Like I did. It was alright, but you have to do. You have to mess around with it. That's just the main idea here. And if you don't like that, I guess you can go back here. And then what you can do is you can put, you can put it right here, make it smaller. Hold shift, make it smaller, and you can put it like right there. It's up to you. So that's about it. And then you can 
like you can change this color see it's transparent in the background you can change it any color you want all you have to do is just delete it and then you make a new layer underneath and then you go to the marquee tool and you highlight all of it right click go to fill color and then pick any color you want let's go red okay and there you go it fills and you can change and go to the group one wipe them in the folder and you can change all these colors most of the time I just kinda get rid of them if I make a whole background transparent I just get rid of them so that's it I hope you enjoyed rate subscribe whatever and I hope you enjoyed if you have any questions you can leave in the comments I don't really get to the comments that much because when I go to my messages it only shows like half the comments so just send me a message and um, I'll be putting up a website where I can post all my new backgrounds and stuff and you can mess with them and I'll put the template in the description and I'll put my newest one my newest backgrounds off of public enemies I'll put that in the description too so hope you enjoyed